this is the International Day of Happiness. We're about to talk about it right here on the show. And if we're talking about the International Day of Happiness, then we've got to make noise about it. You know, get into your space. Break, break beyond those cold walls of anger and dislike and distrust and... You know, those those things that just don't bring any light into your light or your space or your those things that steal your joy. We're here to make noise and we're here to tell you it's International Day of Happiness. So you're going to be happy whether you like it or not because you're here on the show with us. You're still listening to the Africa Daily Show. You know, a little light, a little happiness, a little love goes a long way. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand, you know. You could just... Spread some happiness and some love into somebody's corner and brighten their day. And yeah, I think I know who I'll use that on a lot. But before anything else, let me take the chance to welcome my colleagues, my co-hosts who are in the studio with me. First off, let me start with somebody who's been absent, somebody who wasn't well, who is okay now. He said he was out of a 1 to 10. He was a 7. But uh, looking at him, I think he'll pass for a 9 half. So, half is heavy. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you very much. <coughs> yes. Am I loud enough? Yes. Okay. So. Now the voice is coming back. No. Okay. You might want to take the mic closer to you. Or should we get you a this jar of water? No, I'm good. I'm good. You're fine? Yeah. Hot water? No, I'm good. Seriously, I'm good. Welcome back. Thank you very much. How did it feel? How did it feel? Being away. <laughs> Ah, uh, it was crazy, but uh, strangely, I miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> what did I say? I said it. Mod just did that. He said, strangely, I miss you. Mod was like, mm. <laughs> Mod, are you picking did some? I say anything? Mod, are you picking some signals in the in the opposite direction? No, that's a new way of clearing throats. Like, mm. <coughs> yeah. That you had to wait till he said that before you could clear your throat. Oh, you missed that? <laughs> what I did you miss? <laughs> I knew that girl had I'm something. I'm starting to regret saying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you actually, you should have thought like three times about it before you saying it. See why we, I don't believe it. That's why you actually cleared your throat. How you would you say a thing one minute and, and then, then the next minute it you regret it? Minute. I mean, it means that means you didn't actually really mean it. You're saying for say say, you're just saying it for saying say. Okay. Yes. Can you get on my back? And what no, we're miss? not on your back. Ha! I mean, you I said say what you missed. Oh, have you ever mess? Have you ever missed somebody before? I said I missed you guys. Yeah, but I'm asking you if miss yes. So if you if you've missed some people before, there should be something about it. What did you miss? What did I the miss? The bickering or the well, disturbance? Well, I certainly did not miss this. So, so what did you <laughs> That's what you're miss? Asking. Wait, what do you mean so by this? Effie, can we go? Harvest, <laughs> what did you miss? Today's International Day of Happiness. So you did not miss this. Happiness. So what not did you today, miss? but that's what we're discussing today. So mm. what did you miss? What did I miss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking for ways to make you happy. What did you miss? I missed a lot. I I missed uh, the usual back and forth. If that's what you, you guys are asking, I missed this whole banter and everything. So, but uh, it's great to see you guys again. Yeah, it wasn't an easy place I was in. You know. So, but Aww. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you want a tissue? Oh. <laughs> 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 More than awkward. <laughs> Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm okay. You're done? Yeah. Should we add more? I wasn't the one doing the all. If just don't get things from Maud was the one, so I don't need a tissue. I'm fine. <laughs> Maud? <laughs> do you need a tissue or yeah. a towel? <laughs> <laughs> or a cloth to do good for you? Okay, but yeah. girls don't cry. Big girls don't cry. Really? Hmm. Did you miss him? Oh uh, yes I did. I mean I texted him, right? I just said it was the next. I think I think that it was it was it was late at night. No, like late, late. Don't worry, don't worry. A B but A B doesn't need AB clarification. Come on. <laughs> 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 but I'm thinking he was asleep when I texted. So he replied the next one. He's like, I saw your text and I laughed so hard. I'm like, oh, I don't have that effect for you. <laughs> she said something crazy. <laughs> I respect it. So. I was I was sick, but then I was. I mean, it it got me in the way anyway. So. But it was great to hear from you guys anyway. Well, that's good. Welcome back. Thank it's you good. very much. And it's good Thank to you. know she missed you. So it's good to know both of you will be back at each other's truth in a lovely way. <laughs> in a lovely way. I mean, you're still trying to get him on the love boat. Are you not? Or are you actually abandoning that ship? What? I plead the fifth. 
<laughs> Half is International Day of Happiness. Hmm. Okay, guys. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, International Day of Happiness. A day uh, that Wait, is marked on the Wait, before that, yeah. before, before you actually bring history and all that. I'm not talking history. <laughs> Don't worry. Before, well, before everything you have to say, are you a happy person? Happy. What is happiness? That's actually what I want to ask you next. Exactly, so I'm getting there. Okay. No, would you say you have found happiness or you're happy? Well, in my submission, you get the full import of everything. No, I don't. Actu- I don't. I don't want the. I'm asking a subjective I'm question a to you. I'm actually building a case. Yeah, but this so is a direct when I'm question done, to when you. I'm done, then you would you answer. Probably me. Would, would get an answer even. Okay, yeah. so we'll actually come back to this question when he's done with his submission. <laughs> Yes, International Day of Happiness. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, like you rightly mentioned, it's not something that has been celebrated today, but yeah. uh, ahead of the date, uh, yeah. it's something we, we definitely uh, look at on the show. Yeah. But then, what is the idea behind it? And it's simply a day to, uh, you know, the idea of feeling happy. It's the day to promote the idea of feeling happy as a global human right. That's mm-hmm. basically it. Yeah. And so, but then you asked the question about me being happy. But... What is happiness, if you ask? From the, w- from the get-go, it sounds like a very odd question. But is it? I mean, we spend the rest of our days pursuing it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, I mean, for something that we feel that would make a lot of difference in our lives. I mean, the question then is, is I mean, your idea of happiness, is it the same as the next person sitting right next to you? What is it at all? What is happiness? Uh, because... I mean, if you go through the Oxford Dictionary mm-hmm. and you s- look up the word happiness, all you get is a state of being happy. That's what it tells you. Yeah. And if you narrow down your search to say happy, then you get uh, uh, something more, a little bit deeper, like feeling or showing contentment, something like that. So in that sense, happiness is simply uh, a state and not a trait. So it's not a permanent feature, if, you, if that is what you're not getting. It's fleeting. Now... In all of this, I think in trying to read up on what happiness is, uh, I went through a lot of stuff. And I came across a term coined by uh, Robert Holden, Dr. Robert Holden. Uh, he calls himself a positivity psychologist. And he coined the term uh, destination addiction. Now, destination addiction, uh, per his definition, is the idea that happiness is in a place. Happiness is in is in a particular job or a person. Mm -hmm. You know how some people are not happy, and he goes on to explain that. I mean, you know how some people are not happy because they feel they haven't had a particular job. They feel unhappy because they they haven't, say, they want to be, the only thing they are happy when they marry person A or person B, or they they land at this particular job or land this degree at this particular age. You know, like they attach happiness to something. Exactly, exactly. And uh, according to that term he coined, mm-hmm. he says that, I mean, until you give up that idea that happiness rests in a place, a person, or whatever, I mean, you'll never be happy where you are. Yeah. And reading that, that really hit home for me. And it's, it's almost like a lot of us are definitely suffering from this addi- addiction, if, uh, if, if I might say, anyway. Yeah. So, so going back to your question. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to give it up, are you? Anyway, what were I you don't saying again? Give up like that. <laughs> what was your question again? So, per everything you've submitted, yeah, are you happy? Uh, I'm, uh, or would you say you found happiness as a setting area? I would say I'm, I'm actually also suffering from this destination, destination addiction he talks about. You know. uh, what are you attaching your happiness to? Is it a dream job, or is it a dream woman, or is it a dream house, what? or a dream car? Happy, can we move on? <laughs> no, it's just, just a question. I mean, in light of what you said, yeah. I'm just asking, have you attached it to? I've attached it to a lot of things, and, and I'm sure you guys have done the same. I mean, you probably are waiting on Maud just gave you the look like, young man, speak for yourself. Oh, no, but I'm... I'm, I'm you guys are... <laughs> Happy. <laughs> I said I'm suffering from destination addiction. Isn't that enough? <laughs> God, I'm so happy. I'm happy you're back. But <laughs> then... I'm just happy seeing you like this. It's just so interesting. I think I missed this for a minute. Yeah. Miss Ward. Hey. What makes you happy? Good food. (laughs) 
I'm just taking that out of the list. Good. No, I'm. I don't even. You don't even have to say it. It's what does it make me happy? Are you sure? Okay, maybe a little. If I take you out for like three hours and I don't give you food in addition, take me out to do what? For a meeting, hang out, something, but no food, just talk. If it's just talking, I'm not hungry. Great. If I am, <laughs> um. Hafe says I have two sides. <laughs> so <laughs> the second side. The other side. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've met her so many times. I'm just used to it. So that one would manifest there. Eh? Yeah, I okay. think so. Okay. But what makes me happy? I would say happiness is relative. Okay. It depends on whichever situation you find yourself in at that point in time. Mm-hmm. Personally, sometimes just being with my friends makes me happy. That's because nice. um, I wouldn't. S- I don't want to say um, I'm a fool when I'm around my friends, but <laughs> <laughs> no, let's let's go for another word to replace yeah. for comedian. Not comedian. It's like you can make a fool out of yourself in front of them. I am. I am my complete self which when is? I'm around my friends. Which is which is my complete <laughs> self. <laughs> <laughs> I love that thing. Yeah. Which is my complete and honest self when I'm with my friends. Mm-hmm. And my complete and honest self is a very f- is a very funny person. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if Hafiz has met that person. I think he has. Hafiz has. Hafiz. I want to hear my opinion on that. <laughs> Hafiz, Hafiz has met both sides of you. Like he he's just okay with what he sees every day. He's he's met both sides and he doesn't want well, to go to the second part again. My opinion. Yeah, yeah. So um, I wouldn't say like I would like when I'm summing up my life, mm-hmm. I would. I wouldn't say I'm a hundred percent happy because just like Hafe said, he is suffering from destination addiction. Mm-hmm. I think most people are, okay. and I'll admit that I am too. Because I have a target for my bank account to hit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no surprises <laughs> there. <laughs> and there's a there's a po- there's a point where I want to uh, there's a position I want to attain in my career. I want to mm. hit a certain target. Mm-hmm. And I haven't hit all of those ones yet. And I'm hoping to find love sometime in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? So, I would say... um for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you really did didn't say that? <laughs> no, did he just say he prays for that guy? <laughs> he, he did. I said I'll pray for that guy. I don't know. It's pray a bad thing. <clears throat> no, it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. Just wondering who you are going to pray for. So, I would say that um, in a sum total, mm-hmm. I am not 100% happy, but I try to find happiness wherever I'm presented the opportunity. I'm a type of person who does not think, um, I mean, I'm in a group setting with my friends. Mm-hmm. I know if I, if I don't think about my worries, if I don't think about the plans I have for the future, mm-hmm. I can be my complete self and allow myself to be happy, then I do that. I do not think about my circumstances and let it dump in my mood. Mm-hmm. So certain things, anything can basically make me happy. I can, I can, I can just receive a message from my friend. Sometimes I'm sitting behind my desk oh, and you guys are asking like me, like, are you okay? Yeah. It's because I, maybe I received a message. I've seen a video. And Sometimes you see good food. <laughs> So, like I said, happiness is relative. Everybody everybody can find happiness in, in so many different ways, wherever they choose to. And everybody can decide to be happy or to be sad. It's just up to you mm-hmm. to open yourself up, to think, to not think about the worries you have. One time in school, somebody looked at me and, and was like, you don't have worries, do you? Mm, I've mentioned this. And yeah. then I'm like, <laughs> why? Then he's like, every time he sees me, I'm either laughing or I'm smiling about something. That is because that is the state I have chosen to be in. I have told myself that irrespective of whatever it is going on in my life, I won't let it show on my face. I'll find I, I'll, I'll find happiness even in the little things that come my way. That's that's amazing. Thank you so much for that. Um, I might zone in a bit more on um, different things, uh, but it's it, it could get a bit like detailed because we're looking at happiness here. So Hafiz has already made mention about the destination addiction where we tend to attach happiness. I think like Mort has also said, it's something we do commonly. And I used to do that initially, but at a point in time I had to stop because there was a time I woke up and it was like something woke me up. And the thought was very simple. So what if all these things you've actually attached the happiness that you see when I get this, I'll be happy. When I get here, when I move from here, I'll be happy. What if it never happens? Does it mean you're going to be a sad, miserable person all your life? And the thought of that is what actually shook me. So I decided to be 
something I call consciously happy. Look at the situation. If I can do something about it, I'll do it. If I can't do anything about it, I start asking myself, why am I worrying about it? Now, if I can actually get somebody who can do something, I'd rather have to do that because I realized I spent a lot of energy and time focusing on the problem and it wasn't changing. It was taking away moments of joy. And one thing, I don't know how much we tend to underestimate the value of memories, but one thing you can never play down on is memory. If you want to sit down at the end of your life, yes, down, or even now, and after a week, after a month, a year, you want to look back on your life. You should be able to have notable memories of happiness in different stages of your life. And that is only possible if you allow yourself to do that and not focus on the pain or, or the situation like Maud has mentioned. But before I ask my questions, Hafiz, I think you want to come in with something. Uh, yeah, you guys have said a lot, but uh, just a little I want to add to everything you guys have said. I think one of the major situations that tends to suck away the joy from our daily lives. I mm -hmm. mean, yes, I mean, the world tr is going, tr even the world is not having a good time with the pandemic and everything. Yeah. Uh, so it's hard to smile it these days, let alone be happy, uh, given the state the world finds itself. But then we'll just have to sew your own. That's just it. Now, one thing that tends to cause us a lot of stress, that tends to suck away the life from us, is the fact that we are all, we've, we've basically placed our life on a timer, mm -hmm. thinking that we are running out of time. Yeah. And that we need to attain this particular goal at this particular age. And when you don't do that, you tend to beat yourself up and think it's that like you're you have a luck, You have luck behind. Now, one thing is this. I think time does a lot of things. One thing it will never do is invalidate any progress you've made at any age. Because at the end of the day, yes, you might have trailed so many subjects, but and still come out your first degree at 40. Still doesn't make it less of a dis degree. I mean, it's still I, a degree. I, I've seen so. some of the good stories. I've seen a woman at 98 coming with, and I'm just thinking, whoa. Yeah. I mean, these are the little things we can just be optimistic about. I mean, yes, at that age, people would, you are worried about people mocking you, but did you have your degree or not? You did. Uh, this uh, was in a Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. Yeah. Colonel Sanders. Colonel we are Sanders, familiar yeah. familiar with his story at 65 when this whole franchise started. Right. And so it's never too late uh, to start anything and pursue whatever it is, the pursuit of happiness, that is. Because at the end of the day, the basic thing that they take away from Malta's experience for me was the fact that she's, she's very optimistic. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's a trait we we would have to cultivate. It's something you'd have to deliberately cultivate Build because every now and then your thing. mind veers over and you are oh thinking yeah, of all does. the negatives. But then it's something you would have to cultivate and visualize a bright future for yourself because it is only then you can wake up and be excited about the life you have, whether it's it's, it's in the gutter or not. But it's just <laughs> it's the only way you can just try to find a you know a silver lining in the situation that you find yourself. Now, at the risk of sounding like a motivational speaker, now there are just a few principles I think we just need to live by. Mm -hmm. uh, just one, uh, you know, five principles I decided to put together. And number one, it is not one. Uh, it is not someone else's job to make you happy. Now, we, we tend to attach our happiness to people. Or when he comes home from the trip, I'll be happy. When I call him, like, she's smiling on her phone from that message. I don't know what, who, who, who sent that message. Because anyway. you but honestly don't want to pick that fight right now. With I'm me. not picking a fight. I'm just making a point. <laughs> just see it for what it is. That's you have it. not heard the last no of this. With the, way she, the way she's looking at you, you have not heard the last of it. Mod. <laughs> I hope that's a good look. Carry on. So, <laughs> so, I mean, what was I saying? Okay. It's you not see? someone else's job <laughs> to make you happy. <laughs> Like I was saying, <laughs> so it, it it's something that uh, is a principle I try to live by. Yeah. As a person, and my next point is acknowledging the mistakes you make. Mm -hmm. Yes, only then can you be able to, uh, you know, reevaluate certain things you do, and then make sure you take the right steps. It's not just you know because happiness in the end, it's not just about how you interact with yourself, but also the people around you as well. Yes, and uh, also number three, set boundaries, and this will help people understand what's acceptable to you and what's not yes because you notice how sometimes when you don't try you try not to be a doormat you don't want i mean people think you are difficult yeah exactly but you're not being difficult a lot of the time you just realize that you're setting boundaries yeah and uh, you don't want to be walked all over and that's what it is 
and it is very key in maintaining your sanity especially when you don't know who you need to have a vetting system or a filtration you know system who you let in into your mm-hmm. circle and out exactly yes and all of these things would go a long way to to protect uh, protect that you know your mental health yeah uh, uh, if that was the case now also pleasing others is okay but not to the point of feeling entitled yes yeah, is the reason some people even find it difficult to ask for help because yeah. they don't want the burden of indebtedness you don't think that when I do something good for you or you oh. help me, that means I have to repay you back exactly. or I'm indebted so to they you. they ac- accept a particular form of help or any kind of any kind yeah. and they feel that, well, I'm going to spend the rest of my life having to, you know, uh, to their whims and caprices. Say yes, I must and all that. So, and uh, lastly, be compassionate to yourself and uh, then to others, that is. So, these are a few principles uh, you probably would want to consider to live by in the pursuit of happiness, yeah, if that's okay. something that you want to do anyway. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Ms. Mort, yeah. you want to add something to that? Yeah, so I'll, I'll say that actually the International Day of Happiness is an annual event mm-hmm. that is organized by the United Nations yeah. to promote the idea that feeling happy is a global human right. This is fine, but I have a problem with it. Why? You owe yourself happiness. Nobody can 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 tell you be happy or, or don't, don't be, be happy. happy. Yeah. Well, it's easy to say. People are going through a lot. The thing is, a global it's human <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. I think she f- she has a problem with, with them the fact that it's it a right. Exactly. Like somebody has to give it to you. Mm-hmm. But no, you have to give yourself happiness. Well, in certain instances, people just go out there to make your life difficult. So. Putting yeah. it out there that is actually right. Is your it's right just to be to happy? Just to make sure that. So it actually, f- I think from Hafiz's point, it's just to make sure when someone is out there to make your life difficult, you have to know that you shouldn't give them that power. It's your right to be happy. Yeah. Okay. So officially, so they also don't violate it's, it's, that it's not even something that you owe to yourself, but okay. it's it's something that is recognized. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's how it's going. And I, I okay, I get it now. So Hafiz talked about not um, letting telling ourselves that I owe myself happiness happiness, and not attaching a happiness to things Mm -hmm. and the theme for this year's celebration which will happen on the 20th 20th, is keep calm stay wise and be kind and this is in response to the COVID-19 pandemic so keep calm there are lots of things outside our control. Let's remember to breathe and focus on what really matters mm-hmm. so we can respond constructively. I mean, people have gone through so many things since the whole... People have been going through things before the pandemic started. Yeah, and then true. the pandemic came and then lockdowns happened and... It changed a lot of things. People are people menta- mentally, physically, emotionally, people have lost family members. Whole families have been wiped out due to the pandemic. So the um, the theme for this year is saying keep calm. Um, because when you remember to breathe and focus on what really matters, we can respond constructively. Now the stay wise. Making wise choices helps everyone. Yeah. Let's choose positive actions that support our well-being and help others to do the same. Wear a mask. Social distance. Wash your hands. Yeah. Don't 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 organize events that will bring lots of people Crowd, together. Yeah. Don't 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 build crowds. Don't do things that will make the virus spread. Then there's be kind. We are all in this together, even when we are forced apart. Let's stay connected and reach out to help others who may be in need. This is self-explanatory, I believe. So as we go about our daily life this year, we should be calm because problems will come. And there's this song that I like. I think the lyric says, um, though the sorrow may come during the night. Um, this is the story may last for the for night. For the night, the, the joy, joy comes, comes in, in the, the morning. morning. Yeah. And there's this one that also said, however dark, however dark the night may be, the sun will rise, rise yeah, again. That's true. So we should keep calm and know that the, the, the pandemic has happened. But just like Anado says, this, this too shall pass. And then Biden, I'm referring to the, the president, president of, of Ghana, Ghana, yeah. Ghana. He says this too shall pass. That's and then yeah. we should stay wise. We should make wise choices that help everyone. I remember, I think on Friday, right? Mm-hmm. We, are t- we have been told to wear a mask. I was in public transport. And then I had worn the mask. And at a point, I couldn't breathe. So I took my mask off for a little while. 
And I, I only took it off because everybody around me in and the car was off. wearing a mask. And this man beside me goes like, oh, why is your nose mask? And I'm like, I left it in the house. So I'll buy one <laughs> when I get to, when I alight. <laughs> right mm -hmm. then we get to a traffic light you know there are vendors yeah then we get to traffic lights and then i did i did i didn't even notice we had got into a traffic light but no no and this man was still watching me so i was sitting there and then he taps me and he's like take it he bought a nose mask for me <laughs> <laughs> so it's like i wasn't being safe but there's a person who was help who was making wise choices for me and for himself so as well. and for himself yeah. as well and then we should be kind yeah. Be kind to everybody. Pandemic or no pandemic, just be kind to everybody. You don't know what a thank you or a hi or a hello or you look nice or how are you doing would do to somebody. Mm -hmm. And my most people are killing themselves because they don't have people to talk to. Because even when they have people to talk to, people are not nice to them. And we are in a day and age where there are so many internet trolls. Somebody can just say something to you on the internet and it will it, be like just bang your head on a wall. So, whichever situation you find yourself in, on the internet, off the internet, with strangers, with people you know, try to be kind. Because the world is already going through a lot yeah, right now. Yeah, the least you true. can do is to show kindness to a neighbor, a friend, or a stranger. Thank you so much. Okay, so... Uh, quickly. Uh, anyway, she said a lot, so I'm not going to say so much. But then, uh, talking about the cultivation of optimism that I talked about, I mean, a lot of the time... It's not so. It's easier said than done, but I get it. But you can really use a little bit of help uh, if you decide to, you know, do a little bit of reading. Yes, uh, pleasure reading and everything. And so, if you are looking for a book, uh, there's this book by Martin Selingham, Land Optimism. It is actually a good read. Uh, so you can grab that and, you know, just try to see if you can to help your journey in the pursuit of happiness. Okay. Thank you guys so much. So you've had it. Um, land optimism. Optimism. You can search. And say is also try and cultivate habits. Reading works for me. Um, watching movies could work for you. And one thing I think, one of the key things to learning happiness is first learning to be happy with yourself. What do you do on your own that makes you happy? And when we say happiness, like I first mentioned, it's a state. It's not something that is there forever. It's fleeting. But one state you can actually stay in for a while is peace. If you find what can make you happiness, you can translate that happiness into a peaceful state. So, Cultivate many habits you can do yourself that makes you happy. And Mort has said, be kind, be compassionate. You have no idea what somebody's going through. And what you would say or do will be like the last straw that breaks the back of the camel. And you could cause them to do something that is irrevocable, or cause harm to themselves. Be nice. Be nice. There are some people like, be nice. We're not pleading or begging you, but be nice. If you are bitter and uptight and stuck, don't let your emotions break out somebody's rainbow. Learn to be nice. That's why I keep saying you have to be honest with yourself first. Be nice and love yourself. Otherwise, you would have no love to give happiness to anybody out there. Start to understand and appreciate and love yourself. Mm -hmm.